Hello everybody, welcome to The Political Vigilante. My name is Graham Elwood, thank you so much for watching. Progressive Comedy Tour this weekend, November 2nd and 3rd in Northern California. November 2nd, Sacramento show, sold out. Um, November 3rd in San Francisco, still some tickets available, go to GrahamElwood.com. The Sacramento show, you could possibly show up to the venue and get on a standby list in case anybody doesn't show up and some seats open up. That could happen. I can't guarantee a seat, though, as it is sold out. Um, many of you have asked. I just wanted to let you know that. But uh, come out. Come to these shows. It's awesome. It's Ron Placone and I. He does a 45-minute set. I do a 45-minute set. Peter Douche is opening up for us. It's just a comedy show and a political activism and everything. You get to meet progressives in your community and... It's a really, uh, it's a really cool, empowering, uh, progressive community that you get to be a part of. Um, so, remote Hawaiian island wiped off the map. This was in the uh, Huffington Post. This event is confronting us with what the future could look like. One federal scientist said about the loss of East Island caused by Hurricane uh, Wallaka that hit Hawaii uh, several weeks ago. And again, we just had the UN report that said the. The climate crisis is worse than they had thought. And, you know, they're worried about two degrees Celsius warming up. Now there's reports saying it might be as high as five degrees Celsius warming up in the next 30 years. Um, and this is just evidence what is happening today. There's a climate crisis today that we need to do something about today. Approximately half a mile long and 400 feet wide, East Island was one of the second largest is, uh, islets in the French frigate Shoals and a toll some 550 miles northwest of Honolulu and a key habitat for the critically endangered Hawaiian monk seal, the threatened Hawaiian green sea turtle, and several species of seabirds. I want to show you this. These are satellite photos. So this is May 28th, East Island. This is what it looked like. You see that's all the sand. This is an actual island here. This is all reef after the hurricane in October. It's gone. There's just a little bit of sand right there. That's gone. It's gone. That's pretty horrifying. The Great Barrier Reef is, uh, is almost gone. This is what happens. And as I've talked about, uh, climate change doesn't create hurricanes it makes them more severe, right? That's why we had seven hurricanes last year. We've already had hurricanes this year. This is what happens. The water temperature warms up. So when a hurricane is created, which is a natural occurring event, it makes them worse. It makes them more severe, right? This last hurricane that hit in the Gulf of Mexico, right? It started out as a category one. It goes over the Gulf and it builds in strength and gets up to a three or a four even, almost was a five if I'm not mistaken. East Island was destroyed by a storm surge from the Hurricane Wallaka, which roared through the northwestern Hawaiian Islands as a powerful Category 3 storm this month. Seven researchers, including three studying green sea turtles on East Island, were forced to evacuate from the French Frigate Shoals before the storm. This scientific community, including experts at NOAA, which is the, uh, we've talked about that, NOAA is the, we've done, uh, Mitchell Health has brought us information from NOAA. Uh, I did a whole video on this showing that no, uh, uh, data that NOAA put out showing what the shoreline of, of North America is going to look like on the east and west coast by 2040 with rising, with rising uh, sea levels. I suggest watching that video if you have not already. Uh, has long warned this anthro... Uh, progenic climate change influences extreme weather events. The 2015 National Climate Assessment concluded that hurricane intensity and rainfall are projected to increase as the climate continues to warm. Phil Klausbach, a hurricane expert at Colorado State University, said the Central Pacific is one area where a lot of models forecast that climate change will trigger more frequent and stronger hurricanes. He said Wallaka rapidly intensified at an impressive rate 
from a tropical storm with 40 mile per hour winds to a major hurricane with winds of 120 miles an hour in just 30 hours. Let me show you that right here. It went from 40 miles an hour to 120 miles an hour in 30 hours. In less than a day and a half, it picked up 80 miles an hour of wind. That is pretty severe, which is what created that. There's no telling if East Island will return. An islet named White Skate Island, also once an important habitat for Hawaiian monk seals, vanished from French frigate shoals in the 1990s and has not reappeared. 20 years ago? Never came back. So that, oh, this is cyclical, like the right wing that's fueled by the oil lobby when, when, when right wing, oh, it's just cyclical. No, it's not. This is fossil fuels have, has accelerated this. It is not cyclical. And it could end life on Earth. And no, Jesus isn't coming back. Um, Clark Fletcher and Littman, uh, these are three scientists that are in the article, again, read, the link is in the show notes, said scientists are already exploring what, if anything, can be done to intervene to protect these vulnerable habitats and increase the resilience of the affected species. Those efforts could include pumping sand back above the ocean surface to, respore, to restore the islets. Islets, whatever they're called. Maybe I'm mispronouncing that. Islets, islets, tomato, tomato. <laughs> Um, so this is, you know, this is pretty severe and pretty intense. An island was just wiped off the map. I mean, we've already seen what has happened to cities on the Gulf, cities on the East Coast in America. We've seen what happened to the Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico. That's why the environment is the most important issue we're, that we're facing right now. And that's why it's pretty much sort of where my, my purity tests go in terms of candidates. So thank you for watching the show, you guys. Thank you for getting involved and thank you for protecting the environment in whatever ways you can in your communities. Every little thing helps. Everybody getting involved is, gonna, what, is, is the thing that we have to do to turn this around because we, we still can do it. We can still turn it around. It's still possible. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, share these videos everywhere. All those little things, all those algorithms help. Following me on social media, downloading the audio podcast on iTunes, all those numbers help. Anything you can do to help the show from giving money to just pushing it out on your own social media are great ways to get the word out on the political vigilante because you're all political vigilantes and all of us together, we're gonna make Gotham great again. Thank you.